Hey, what's going on everyone? Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Are you tie down shopping? Confused? Not sure which one to get? Well, today we're gonna make it easy and help you decide. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. Tie downs, you can never have enough of these things. There is a lot of really good options to choose from on our website. You've got your standard buckle design, you've got your soft loop, soft loop with carabiner, your swivels, you've got ratchet straps. A lot of different options to choose from could get a little bit confusing. So today, we're just gonna make it easy for you. We're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about all the different styles that are available. We're just gonna point out the pros and cons of each and help you decide which one might be best for you. Now, if this is your first time doing this, if you've never tied down an ATV, a UTV, or a motorcycle before, you're in luck. We have great how-to videos, one for motorcycles and one for UTVs, where we show you tips and tricks and the best techniques to get those tied down. So give those a watch if you've never really done that before. But now we're gonna walk you through, we're gonna talk about your buckle style tie downs first and then we'll talk about ratchet. Now with your buckle style, these are great. These are probably the most common tie downs that you're gonna see, especially for motorcycles. In my opinion, compared to a ratchet strap, a buckle tie down is a lot easier to use. You just use your own body weight to get these things nice and tight. And if you're tying down something like a motorcycle and ATV where you don't need a ton of tension on your tie down strap, then a buckle style is gonna be just great. So let's talk about the options that are up here. So first up, we've got this one here from Ankara. This is just your traditional style of buckle tie down. You've got a hook at the top and a hook at the bottom. Now with these and all the ones that you see up here, you'll notice that the hooks do have a rubberized coating to prevent scratching the surface of whatever they're connected to. However, one thing you do wanna keep in mind with this style of tie down is that over time that rubberized coating can start to wear out and you'll start to expose the metal that's underneath and that can do some damage as far as scratching maybe your handlebars or whatever's connected to. So, what we would recommend for this style of tie down if you want is you get a tie down extension and this just turns it into a soft loop style. So this would actually wrap around your handlebar or maybe your A-arm or whatever you have it connected to on your machine and this will prevent your hook from scratching that up. So if you already have a set of this style, but they're pretty worn out, then you can pick up some of these extensions and solve that issue. Another great option for this style would be a tie down ring. So these actually connect right to the lower clamp, clamp on your forks, and this gives you a great mounting position for this hook. That's especially popular for adventure and touring bikes just because if you're worried maybe about your fairings getting scratched up by the straps, these will help prevent that. All right, so moving on, we have four options from Rider Cargo. What's great about Rider Cargo is they have different configurations at great price points. And the first one is your soft loop tie down. And what's great about this is that you get all the benefits of that extension strap that I just showed you, but the soft loop already comes attached to the tie down. Here in the middle, you have a soft loop wide version. So this one inch version I just showed you has about a 4,000 pound tensile strength rating. The wide version has a 5,000 pound. So for your larger ATVs, if you're gonna be using this for UTVs, you need some added strength to the strap, this would be a great option. You'll also notice too that down at the bottom, you have a carabiner style buckle, and this is just a convenience factor. So that way, when you go to tie down your motorcycle or your ATV, whatever it might be, this does not come unhooked before you can get that slack taken out and cinch everything down. So a little bit more convenience. Next to that one, you have your regular style. So you have the hook at the top, but you have the carabiner at the bottom. Now, this would be a great option for somebody that's maybe using these tie down rings that we already talked about. If you don't need that soft loop and you just want the hook, well, you have that option available. Now the last two are the same style, but there is one difference that I'll point out. The first one's, again, Rider Cargo. You've got the soft loop and the carabiner at the bottom, so the kind of the best of both worlds. And then lastly, one of my personal favorites, this is the one from Pro Taper, soft loop at the top, but the carabiner actually swivels. So again, it's another convenience factor. A lot of times when you grab your tie down and you lift it up, it's twisted, you have to untwist it. This will just make untwisting that a little bit faster, a little bit easier. And then lastly, for anyone out there that's wanting a little bit more security with your straps, we have these ones from Lock Straps. These actually have a metal cord going through the strap, so it makes it difficult to cut. And also, you notice the carabiners on these are very large, and they have a three-digit combination lock, so you can lock those for some added security. Now, keep in mind, this is not all the standard buckle-style tie-downs that we have. We have the same styles from other manufacturers. We have them some, from some OEMs like Honda and other brands. And also, there's different colorways to choose from as well. So, depending on what your flavor is, what bike you're riding, there's gonna be great options for you. So, those are your buckle-style tie-downs. Now, let's talk about ratchets. 
Now, if you're looking at a ratchet style buckle and you're trying to decide if you want this or the standard buckle design that we just showed you, the big benefits to your ratchet is that you can really crank these things down and get these a lot tighter with less effort. That's why they're so popular for ATVs and UTVs for your larger machines because you can really crank these things down and get a lot of tension on them. The way these things work is really simple. When you get these, in most cases, your strap is going to come separate, but it's really simple. You're just gonna feed it right through the slot in the middle. Once you've done that, you're just gonna start to crank this thing down. Now, if you've never done that before, if you get a little bit confused, we do have a how-to video where we show you how to route that strap because there is a right and a wrong way to do it. So watch that video if you're not quite sure. But like I said, easy to get a lot of tension on these with little effort. Now with ratchet straps, just like the buckle design we just showed you, you're gonna see that there's a lot of different configurations within these. You might see just your regular hook at the top, hook at the bottom, hook with the soft loop, soft loop with the carabiner, so different configurations. So take what we just talked about and use that information to help you decide which ratchet strap might be best. There also are different widths. So this is the one inch strap from Rider Cargo. There's also a two inch strap which we like to use on our UTVs and larger machines for that extra strength. There's also some specialty straps out there. We have some that retract back into themselves, so you don't have to worry about the extra length. You also have these right here from Shock Strap, which actually have this urethane shock absorber. The idea behind these is that once you've tightened these down, this shock absorber will pre prevent your straps from coming loose once you have everything nice and snug. Now, a couple other tips that we're gonna give you before we let you go is don't think that if you're doing, say, an ATV or UTV, that you can only use ratchet tie downs. What we'll actually do sometimes is use a buckle style in the front and then we'll have ratchets in the back and we'll use that to really crank it down and get nice and snug. Or maybe you're tying down a motorcycle and you wanna make sure that it cannot roll forward or back. We'll just use a buckle style tie down in the front like you're used to, but then we'll take a ratchet and put it on the rear wheel and crank that down. That way you've got tension from the back as well as the front and that thing is not going anywhere. So a couple of tricks to help you out. That's why also, it's always a good idea to have different tie downs for different variations, have a few of your standard style or your buckle style, have a few ratchet tie downs, that way you always have a good combination to use. If you have questions or comments about anything that we talked about today, leave those below, we'll get those answered. Remember, we have those how-to videos. So if you've never tied down a motorcycle, ATV or UTV, give those a watch, they will help you immensely. And to grab your tie downs today and to see all the other great options that we offer, click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com. As always, orders are over $75 ship free. If you, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and stay up to date on the latest videos that we're always putting out. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.